Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. In this session, we're going to go into a timeline therapy intervention. We are going to elicit the timeline, discover the root cause of the problem, and we're going to release the negative emotions of anger followed by sadness. Nini, if I were to ask your unconscious mind where your past is and where your future is, I have an idea that you might say it's from right to left or front to back or up to down or in some direction from you in relation to your body. And it's not your conscious concept that I'm interested in. It's your unconscious. So if I were to ask your unconscious mind, where's your past? To what direction would you point? Love. And your future, what direction would you point if I asked your unconscious mind, where's your future? Right. Excellent. Thank you. Is it all right for your unconscious mind for you to release this anger today and for you to be aware of it consciously? Yes. What is the root cause of this problem? You are not good enough. The first event, which when disconnected, will cause the problem to disappear. If you were to know, was it before, during, or after your birth? After. If you were to know, what age were you? Fourteen. Anything before that? Four. Four. Excellent. Anything before that? I think it's past life, fourteen. Okay. Fourteen lifetimes ago. Yeah. Now, just float up above your timeline and over the past position number one, facing the past, and when you get there, notice the event. Let me know when you're there. Anger. Are you there? Yep. Now, float to position number two, directly above the event, so are you looking down on the event? Ask your unconscious mind what it needs to learn from the event, the learning of which will allow you to let go of the emotions easily and effortlessly. Your unconscious mind can preserve the learnings so that if you need them in the future, they'll be there. When you have your learnings, tell me what they are. The learning is that I have so many opportunities in life. Even just miss one, it's okay. There's always more opportunities coming. You always prepare your best and hope that the result will be the best, but also hope for the worst. So I think the positive learning is that I have to be spontaneous, be um, open to the outcome, enjoy life more. Um, Don't take the outcome so seriously. I have to trust in myself that as long as that I do the preparations, and then the rest is inshallah, you know, it's God will. If, you know, if it's supposed to be mine, it will come to me. So learning for me is that it has to have spontaneous and having that flexibility in life. <clears throat> Excellent. Anything else? Um. Even though make a small mistake, it's not, it's not end of the world. It's not, it's not like, you know, I'm bad. I'm still a very good person. People still love me, you know, and I should still love myself. Because the, you know, the mistake is actually, is an experience for me to, to learn and also avoid making the same mistake in the future. But also I can teach my kids as a good experience, but also teach my clients. So positive learning for me is that I have to treasure the mistake, treasure things happen in life. Nobody's perfect. Nobody is yeah, nobody's perfect. So I, I think I just have to accept that. Don't make ridiculous roles to myself. Like want everything to be perfect because that's impossible. So do my best. Do whatever it can. And accept the result, accept the outcome. And then enjoy life. I think that's the most important. I need to enjoy life. I need to laugh more. And everything will work out. And I have to believe that in myself. Wonderful. Yes. Oh, good. Now, float to position number three. So you're above the event and before the event, and you're looking towards now. Make sure you're well before any of the chain of events that led to that event, 
and ask yourself now where are the emotions yeah it's gone now float down inside the event to position number four looking through your own eyes and check on the emotions are they there or have they disappeared now disappear good go back to position number three now come back to now above your timeline only as quickly as you can let go of all the anger on the events all the way back to now assume position three with each subsequent event preserve the learnings and let go of the anger all the way back to now when you're done float down into now and come back into the room yep okay welcome back that's good what was my telephone number all the way back in 2003 <laughs> i know it's zero zero three at the end Welcome back. Now, Nini, can you remember any event in the past where you used to be able to feel that old emotion and go back and notice if you can feel it or you may find you cannot? No. I, I still see myself like making some mistake, but the emotion is not there. It's like, that's okay. It's a part of learning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Check again. Oh, I was not there. And I feel like I love myself. Excellent. Excellent. Good. <laughs> Come back to now. Yep. And I want you to go out into the future to an unspecified time in the future, which, if it had happened in the past, you would have felt inappropriate or unwarranted anger. And notice if you can find that old emotion, or you may find you cannot. No. I feel I actually enjoy more. Excellent. Good. Come back to now. Yep. Wonderful. Now let's remove the negative emotion of sadness. Is it all right for your unconscious mind for you to release this emotion today and for you to be aware of it consciously? The sadness, yep. What is the root cause of this problem? I don't look flawless enough. The first event which, when disconnected, will cause the problem to disappear. If you were to know, was it before, during, or after your birth? After. After. Nini, let's just go back and restart on this one. I just want to change that presenting problem. My apologies. Is it all right for your unconscious mind for you to release this sadness today and for you to be aware of it consciously? Yes. What is the root cause of this problem of? You are not good enough. The first event, which when disconnected, will cause the problem to disappear. If you were to know, was it before, during, or after your birth? After. After. If you were to know, what age were you? 14. 14. Okay. Anything before that? Four. Four. Anything before that? I think it's 20. So it can be the 20 lifetime ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 20 lifetime ago. Okay. Now just float up above your timeline and over the past to position number one, 20 lifetimes ago, facing the past and when you get there, notice the event. Yeah. Now float to position number two, directly above the event, so you're looking down on the event. Ask your unconscious mind what it needs to learn from the event. The learning of which will allow you to let go of the emotions easily and effortlessly. Your unconscious mind can preserve the learnings so that if you need them in the future, they'll be there. When you have your learnings, tell me what they are. So the positive learning for me is that, because I was little, But doesn't mean that when I speak up for myself, how should I say? Speak up for myself doesn't mean I need to be punished. So positive learning for me is that I should be proud of myself that I actually express myself. I actually speak up for myself. Um, other people see as a no, no behavior, like as a, f you know, flaw, but actually is I just being who I am. So positive learning for me is that no, like always be brave and be brave to be who you really are. That also means that sometimes you have to show part of your flaws, you know, um, 
some of your weakness and let people know and it's okay because I'm a human being. So positive learning is that be brave, don't need to be afraid that people know people know, you know, some of the weakness about me because that's just part of me. And I need to embrace that, then other people will accept me. So positive learning also for me is that I should be proud of myself when I speak up. You know, shouldn't feel shame about I being who I am. So embrace myself, embrace who I am. You know, I have so much talents. I have the good part of me, good side about me. Also some part is not that perfect, but I can always do more to to make it better. So positive learning for me is that, you know, remember always keep learning, keep improving yourself, developing myself. to be the best, whatever I do. But also, positive learning is that give myself a room, give myself some room to trial. And when this trial means that the outcome probably not what I'm looking for, it's okay, I need to be okay with that. I need to see that as a, as a learning. So not bashing myself of that. So... Any other positive learnings for you, for yourself, and for your future? I think it's that loving myself, 100%, good or bad. Yep. Excellent. Anything else? Yeah, enjoy. I think enjoy life. I need to have more laughter, enjoy life. Even um, making mistakes can still have a laugh, can make fun of it, and then my life will be much easier and more relaxed. Yep. Excellent. Any other learnings? I think it's keep moving forward. Keep trying. Keep moving forward. Keep trying. And then at the end of the tunnel, is is it's really bright, actually. It's a lot of sunshine and it's a lot of laughter. Excellent. Yep. Now, flight to position number three. So you're above the event and before the event, and you're looking towards now. Make sure you're well before any of the chain of events that led to that event. And ask yourself, now where are the emotions? Oh. He's a girl. Go on, excellent. And flow down inside the event to position number four, looking through your own eyes and check on the emotions. Are they there or have they disappeared now? Yeah, they disappear. Disappear. Excellent. Now go back to position number three. Now come back to now above your timeline only as quickly as you can let go of all the sadness on the events all the way back to now. Assume position three with each subsequent event, preserve the learnings and let go of the sadness all the way back to now. When you're done, float down into now and come back into the room. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, that was a big one. Yes, it is. Okay, what's your next telephone number going to be? One, two, three. <laughs> Four, five, six. Now, can you remember any event in the past where you used to be able to feel that old emotion? And go back and notice if you can feel it, or you may find you cannot. No. I actually have a message to myself. It's like, hey, I love myself. Excellent. Good. Like, Check again. Yeah. Like, hey, you did good. Yeah. Check Very again. Good. Yep. Nope. No, not there. No Excellent. Sadness. Now I want you to go out into the future to an unspecified time in the future, which if it had happened in the past, you would have felt inappropriate or unwarranted sadness. And notice if you can find that old emotion, or you may find you cannot. Okay? Good. Mm hmm Anything there? No. Excellent. Good. Welcome back. Come back to now. Okay, so we've now released anger and sadness. And there's a few tears coming out of Nini's eyes. How do you feel after the intervention? What's changed for you? One big thing is my headache is disappear. Before we do it, my right hand side upper here was like so intense. But now I feel that pressure has 
release. I definitely feel my chest is much relaxed. It's not that intense. Um, I actually have a little bit some positive self talk at the moment. I feel like, hey, I'm you're doing good. You know, everything is will work out. You just in the transition. You're you're fine. So I feel good. Excellent, wonderful. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us. This is part one of the timeline therapy intervention where we release anger and sadness. We'll come back at a later stage and we'll remove the other emotions such as fear, hurt and guilt and the other negative emotions that Nini mentioned during the personal history. Thanks for joining us.